Welcome to the upcoming Music and Entertainment Signature Auction. This is your chance to acquire a piece of music and entertainment history. A panoramic shot of the Ralph Waldo Emerson Junior High School Summer Class of 1941 featuring their most famous graduate in the sixth row from the top towards the right, the 15-year-old Norma Jean Baker. A rust-colored folder holding an assortment of paperwork such as contracts, letters, and other legal documents pertaining to Monroe's employment in 20th Century Fox, with many signed by Marilyn Monroe. This jacket was worn by John Wayne as he portrayed Colonel Davy Crockett in the film The Alamo, which Wayne produced, starred in, and directed. Made of tan suede, the jacket has beadwork and fringe adorning the chest and shoulder areas, with further fringe sewn down each sleeve. The Wild Bunch pushed the boundaries of filmmaking and became an instant cult classic. This is Holden's personal copy of the script's 128-page final draft. A portion of the proceeds from this sale to be donated to the William Holden Wildlife Foundation. Made of authentic dark brown human hair by famed international wig maker to the stars Stanley Hall, this wig was worn by Elizabeth Taylor as she portrayed the title character Cleopatra. This pair of documents includes an 11-page property settlement agreement and a one-page supplement to the agreement, both signed by Elvis and his soon-to-be ex-wife. This stylish shirt was worn by Elvis in the mid-1950s. Naturally, it's from Lansky's, his favorite clothing store, and the fashion is both quintessentially Lansky's and Elvis. This shirt ranks with the coolest items we're offering in this auction. This album features the autographs of all four Beatles. Autographs by all four Beatles on one item was essentially limited to a few short years. In fact, by the late 1960s, it was already extremely rare that the group had signed items simultaneously. To say a complete set of vintage autographs is in great demand is an understatement. Throughout his life, Michael Jackson was hugely influenced by Charlie Chaplin. In 1979, Jackson met two 19-year-old identical twin brothers, Mike and Matt, who were professional clowns at the nearby Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. The three men struck up a friendship, and about a year later, Jackson presented them with this Chaplin book and inscribed it for them that night. To Mike and Matt, the key to life is growth and happiness. Sow your seeds and reap its fruits and grow. Love, Michael Jackson. Remember, these are just a few of the items up for bid. Please check out the entire auction at ha.com slash 7042 for more details.